In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to find the best Uniswap V3 concentrated liquidity pools. We're going to exclusively use Metrics Finance in this video, and the majority of what we're going to cover in this video is going to be under the Metrics Finance free plan, so no need to buy pro. But of course, if you guys do want to support the development of Metrics Finance and allow us to build more features in the future, Pro is always an option. But hopping right into it, I want to go ahead and start on the Discover page because Discovery is tailored to finding different liquidity pools. This is exactly where you're going to start off at. Now, off the bat, what we're going to want to do when we're here is start to sort by the overall 24-hour fee to TVL ratio. And the reason why we want to do that is because we want to look for stuff that has a very high amount of fees compared to its overall TVL. Now, me personally, I don't really like being on the Ethereum network because even if I am allocating $25,000 into a liquidity pool, well, I'm still paying 100 bucks to get into a pool and 100 bucks to get out of a pool basically on the Ethereum network because of the high gas fees on the Ethereum network, which means it's going to be harder to make return on investment basically. Whereas going in on the Polygon network, Arbitrum network, Optimism network, even the base network, it's a lot more favorable. So I'm just going to go ahead and head off of the Ethereum network and head over to the Arbitrum network because recently Arbitrum has been blowing up. So has base, so has optimism uh so those are the networks that i'm going to do my analysis on today but once i'm in the top pool section on these networks once again we're going to be sorting by the fee to tvl ratio we're going to see some pools like boop to ethereum at the very very top with the fee to tvl ratio of 0.34 percent this is showing like an 1800 percent apr i will mention occasionally you're going to see these random meme coins that pop up and then instantly go away right so i'm probably not going to want to deploy into boop i've never heard of it right there's also going to be stuff that's more blue chip like pendle to ethereum and these are the assets that I'm just going to favorite. As you can see, I have a little star next to this one. I'm just going to click on it, and it's going to put it under my favorite pool section. Additionally, I'm going to favorite Ethereum to GRT because it's another one that I've actually heard of and that I personally think would do pretty well. It's showing an average APR of about 58%, and I'd be pretty happy getting that type of return. You can also never go wrong with Ethereum to USDC, especially in a market like we're currently in, where the market's essentially going sideways, basically, and that's doing, on average, about a 40% APR. I do see Ethereum to Winner, which is doing about a 215% APR. And I personally know some people that have done really, really well with this pool. One thing that stands out to me is you can't really deploy a ton of capital into here. And my personal rule of thumb is no more than 5% of the overall TVL. And in this scenario, it has about $386,000. So I wouldn't be able to have a high allocation in this pool because it has that lower TVL. There's also stuff like ETH to USDT, which looks to be pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and favorite that as well. And after I found a few different pools, this is where I would dive into simulating these pools and discovering different opportunities but what I like to do now that I actually have these favorites is go over here and start to play around with calculation range right now on the discover page using calculation range is a part of metrics pro you have to have it in order to use it but it is not required because you can still find the same exact information just by diving into simulate but my overall goal here is to determine the returns if we were to use one day's worth of data seven days 14 days 30 days so on and so forth so that way I can see the overall consistency of the returns so if I look at calculation range of one day you could see that grt is about 67 percent winner about 240 percent pendle about 65 ETH USDC about 30, ETH USDT about 30, and ETH GMX about 25. And if I change that to about seven days, you could see that these are once again adjusted and ETH winner is doing really, really well. But Pindle ETH has picked up a little bit. So essentially by factoring in these different datas, we can see what's going to be somewhat consistent for us. And also if we don't want to look at stuff that's like winner that has a low TVL, we can filter that on the top pools page. We could go over to where we see TVL and we could look at stuff that is higher than, let's just say $1 million. And that's going to to show us all the pools that have over a $1 million TVL, basically. And I will say filters are part of Metrics Pro, which is why I did not use them off the start, because you don't need the filters to be able to find all the different pools. Uh, but something else a part of Metrics Pro is going to be selecting different networks. If we want to look at, let's just say, the Optimism Network, the Arbitrum Network, and the Polygon Network all at once, we can do that if we are a pro user. But that is enough of me talking about pro. I strictly just want to go ahead and look at these different pools that I already pulled up. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is open some of them, right? I like Pindle. That's doing a 98% APR when using 14 days of data. Not bad. I want to check out Winner, see if it's actually, you know, a good asset that I want to deploy some more capital into. And I do want to check out Ethereum to USDC. So I'm just going to go ahead and open those three in a brand new tab. And from here, I'm going to start my analysis. So on Pindle, what I'm going to start with, putting that max price at the 30-day high, 
putting that min price at the 30-day low, basically. And from there, that's doing about 157%. Remember, we are using 30 days worth of data. And when we scroll down, you can see, if anything, data has kind of gone down a little bit. The volume has been tanking, which means we want to use the past one day worth of data because that's kind of the average volume that we've been getting. So I'm going to adjust this calculation range to one day. It gets me about 68%. So if I deploy my capital in this pool, I can expect to get at least 68% in this liquidity pool. And that's if I'm using the 30-day high and the 30-day low as my range. Now I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to say, okay, well, this gets me about 72% Pendle. Recently, Ethereum has done better than Pendle. So I'm actually going to drag this max price up a little bit to about 800, give myself some buffer room right there. And then I'm going to bring this min price up to something like, let's just say 550. So we're going to do that range, 550, 800. It gets me about 55% ETH. I personally want to have about half and half. And that's just kind of a rule of thumb when it comes to the current market. It's going to change on a per market basis, but 520,800 gets me about 50-50 of each asset. Drag that calculation range back to one day. It's about a 75% APR, so that's what I can expect. That is what I'm happy with. That would kind of conclude my analysis. Obviously, I could go a little bit deeper and look at the overall correlation of the pool. You can see it's about 85%, which is really good. Uh, and I'm personally happy with that. So I would deploy into this pool and I actually might deploy into this pool. Looking over at the ETH winner pool, you're going to notice that the price is to the right of this huge liquidity spike. That means somebody has practically all their liquidity on this single price right here. So we need to keep that in mind. And what we're going to do, first, we're going to find our range. Once again, I'm going back to that 30 day high and that 30 day low strategy. As you can see, we're nearly out of range on the bottom, and recently, winter has done really, really well right here, and then it's been consolidating over here. So I'm going to drag that min price down. Probably going to want to do something like 31500 basically, and then I'm going to bring that max price down to something like $85,000, essentially. So we got $31,500 to $85,000. That's going to give me about 62% winner, which is pretty good considering winner seems to be the asset that has been winning recently. Get it? It's in the name. Uh, going over to volume history, you can see we had this huge spike right over here, and then it completely tanked. We're going to go ahead and use two days of volume, mainly because those two candlesticks uh, are relatively consistent. Gets us about 105%. And then if we drag that current price to top of distribution, get about 17%. So if we hop in right now, we'll probably get about 105%. But as soon as price goes over to where there's a ton of liquidity, we're going to get about 15%. So we need to keep that in mind. I probably would not deploy into this pool. But what I would do is I would head over to simulate and I would see if there's any other ETH winner opportunities. I can head over to the simulate page and I could look over on the Arbitrum network, pull up ETH winner again, and just see where liquidity is allocated. And you can see the majority is on 1%. So obviously, if we deploy on the Ethereum network, that's where we'd want to be. We could also go ahead and take a look at Optimism. Doesn't look like winners on the Optimism network. And then the Polygon network. Doesn't look like winner is over here as well. So it's strictly on the Arbitrum network on that 1% fee tier. That's the best return that we're going to get. So we're just going to go ahead and ignore the rest of them. Next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is pull up that ETH to USDC pool over on the Arbitrum network. And this one, I'm going to use a little bit different of a strategy considering that it is a crypto stablecoin liquidity pool. And obviously, I want to make sure I'm getting the best possible return. And ETH USDC is on multiple networks and fee tiers. So we are going to analyze every single one with ease. We're going to start off over here, though, strictly just finding our range. Looks like ETH has been going down over the past month. Probably going to bring that max price to about 3650 And I'm going to bring this min price over here to about 2650 because I don't think we're going below 2650 Uh, But... I'm going to have some buffer room in the case that we do. And I personally don't think that we're going to be going below 2700 but I'm going to have some buffer room in the case scenario that we do. And recently, ETH bottomed out at around 2900 So let's keep that in mind. And then let's go ahead and take a look at volume history. That's relatively consistent, in my personal opinion. We have lows over here, highs over here, lows over here, and highs more recently. So very, very consistent volume. That's what we like to see. That's doing about a 70% APR. But once again, we don't know if this is the best possible return. This is one pool on the Arbitrum Network. And believe me, there are a ton of different ETH to USDC pools. So we are going to head over to the simulate page and go to pair. This is what's going to allow us to identify all the different ETH to USDC opportunities. Where it says select exchange and network, we're going to hit select all and select all once again. And then as soon as this loads up, we are just going to put ETH as token one and USDC as token two. So now as select a token one, we're going to put ETH and then we're going to put USDC. I'm also going to go ahead and hit this little similar assets button. That's going to show me not only ETH USDC, ETH USDT, and also other derivatives of ETH as well as the USD. And then I'm going to grab my min price and max price, 2650 to 3650 basically. So about a thousand buck range. So we'll put that in as our min price and then 3650 as our max price. We don't need to adjust the calculation range, at least 
not yet because we've already determined that volume on this specific pool has been kind of average and been consistent for the past 30 days but if we really want to we could use two three days of data i don't think that's necessary you can see over here this is doing about 240 percent over here we're doing about 120 percent and then over here about 60 percent over here about 100 percent we could keep on going down the list you can see there's lots of eth to usdc pools all these are eth usdc pools this is the benefit of metrics finance this shows you every single opportunity for eth to usdc this is the complete gold right here and i have not seen another tool out there that does something like this but from there when we see this stuff like 240 percent apr naturally i just want to open it up and see how consistent this is and if this is actually going to return that 240 percent apr so i'm going to go ahead and pull this up eth to usdt once again i'm going to throw in my range right over here 2650 to 3650 and then as you can see the current price is right to the right of this huge liquidity block so the price goes a little bit over here we're actually doing 45 percent and then looking at volume you could see it was huge over here not so good over here so if we reduce that to like even 14 days of volume we're doing about 37 percent it's not nearly as good as that initial one that we found that was doing about 70 percent consistently so this is probably the one that we would actually want to deploy our capital into but ideally we would go in and we would adjust those different pools that we just found over here to see what's going to actually be consistent and what's going to give us the best possible return and that's exactly how you find concentrated liquidity pools with consistent returns using metrics finance that are high performing basically if you guys have any questions feel free to comment them down below if you have any feature requests let us know down below and of course if you guys want us to make another video on a specific topic let us know down below i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to drop a like subscribe notifications turned on i'll see you guys in the next one peace out